Hello everybody, so we now show you how you can record the screen with the MetaQuest 2 VR headset. To do that, we need to go to the sharing button, which is at the drawer. This is the red button here and click it. At the top right corner is going to be a button record video. Now it shows recording because, well, I'm recording. Once you tap this button, it will start recording video. So what you see on the screen will be recorded as an MP4 file on your Quest 2. You can find the videos in this folder on the Quest 2 internal shared storage Oculus video shot. Now you can start recording even within a game specific app. As you can see here, I'm pressing the Oculus button on the right controller and it will open this window. I can actually stop and start recording inside an app or a game. Once we start recording, you can press the Oculus button again in order to close the window. So in the controller, you can see the Oculus button. You can just tap it in order to hide this window. And to view the files, connect the MetaQuest 2 using the VR link cable to your PC and go to the Oculus and then to video shots and you can see all your video recordings. Now to be able to control the resolution and recording quality, we need to download an app called SideQuest. Uh, we need to go to sidequestvr.com and download the app and install it on your computer. Then you need to tap get SideQuest, then scroll down and you can download SideQuest desktop either for your Mac OS, OS X or Windows 10. Of course, it works with Windows 11 as well. There's also an option to download for Linux operating system. Decide which one you want to use. By the way, as of the time of making this video, Chromebooks are not supported. Now install the software and run it. Now at the top left corner, you're going to see a red circle. Mine is green because the SideQuest app recognizes my headset. What we need to do now is connect the VR link cable to the PC. Again, one side to the headset, the other one to your PC. Once you do that, approve the connection in the headset. You're going to see something like that. Next, what we need to do is to run some ADB commands. So basically, what we need to do now is tap this icon with error in the square and then choose custom command option. Then this window will appear, run ADB command. Now you actually can see one of the commands that they put there. You can see ADB shell. Don't put it just yet because I'm going to show you which commands I use and you can decide which one you want to use yourself. But basically, you just type the command in the line there above the blue line and then tap run command. Then the command will be executed on the MetaQuest 2 VR headset and you're going to get different results when recording videos. Now, these are the options that I use personally, but I'm going to explain to you why sometimes I actually change. So basically, I record it at uh, 1440p. So the width is 1440, I 1080. Now we can also do and record it at uh, full HD. So instead of 1440, you're going to put 1920 uh, and then you're going to record at full HD resolution. Now, sometimes they do that, a record at full HD, because uh, sometimes when you record at 1440, it can put a, a bit of stress of the headset and I get low frame rate at some games. So basically, uh, depends on the game. But basically, I prefer recording in 1440 by 1080 because I have more space to actually enlarge the video and kind of match it. So example, many games, I prefer recording the bottom area than the top. So when I record with this resolution, I can just move it upwards in video editing and I get, uh, I kind of compose the scene uh, for the one that actually look best for the viewer. So this is from DaVinci Resolve. You can see that there are black bars, but I can actually enlarge the video to fill the full HD resolution uh, for the export. And then I can just push it upwards or downwards because I have more information there, either top or bottom, uh, depending on which one I want to use. Most of the time, I just push it upwards because I want users to actually see what the hands are doing. So I actually push the video upwards and I get better view of the scene. Now I'm going to put those commands in the description of this video so you can reuse it if you like. And basically you just copy the command line, put it, run command, go to the second one, uh, second command, copy paste it, run again, 
and that's about it. It will be executed. You're going to see command completed in the black bar once the command uh, was executed correctly. Now, the reason I use full rate capture one is because I want to capture at higher frame rates rather than 30 FPS record at higher frame rate. Uh, the reason I use the bitrate 30 million here is because I want the video to record at higher quality. If it's the default one, you're going to see some kind of uh, smudges and uh, some artifacts when recording video. So I just increase the bitrate to 30 million and actually work really well. And this is what I use by default uh, for every video that I capture. But again, you can play with this if you want to reduce the file size, for example. You can just go with 20, right, and try 15 and see what works best for you. Keep in mind that you don't need to approve anything in the headset when you execute this command. That will execute it on the headset and that's about it. No further action will be needed in the headset itself. And that's about it. Again, remember to check out the commands in the description of this video so you can copy paste them uh, into SideQuest. If you have any question, let me know in the comments section below and I'll do my best to answer you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. Give a like. Also consider subscribing. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Cheers.